Hi, it's Dr. Rogini. So today, actually, I want to talk about how to get out of your comfort level. So especially when you're in your certain comfort zone, you don't, you want something further, but then you're so comfortable and you're kind of stuck and you don't know how to get out of it. And um, that's actually part of the manifestation process because when we get too comfortable in one area of life, um, somehow the um, your desires, your manifestation will be slowed down. Okay, and um, so I want to I want to share actually with you. Today is actually this car is my last day with me. I've had it almost uh, four years now, and it's my Mercedes Benz. It's my baby, so I'm letting it go. And it's yes, it's hard to let go of things that you really love, right? But then your deepest desire, there you know, there's something further. You have further growth and further expansion. And this doesn't mean just um, in terms of your car it could also mean in terms of your house or um, um, any form that you know you kind of grown out of it okay and so this car actually helped this SUV actually it helped me to once when I got it it really helped me to extend further and evolve further and um, break free from certain limitations I had I never knew that I deserve a car like this it's kind of crazy the way it happened about four or five years ago um, I had this vision during meditation and I had this Mercedes-Benz parked in front of my new house it's kind of crazy how it just came and I was like wait a minute I never knew that I I deserve something better at that time right um, I really was comfortable where I was and never thought of the next thing I was just doing the things and I was like oh my god I deserve something better and then I started looking into it so it took me a little while to get comfortable because remember I had to break my limitations and my fear of getting this luxury car and um, it's kind of crazy how it happened. So I had to like really work with the fear, the discomfort. Um, I had so many different feelings. If you look at my previous video, I talk about how I clear these um, blockages within my body so it can allow higher manifestation in my life. Okay, so and then eventually I got this car and um, and now it's time for letting it go. So how do you let go that you something that you really love, you have so much connection with it, it helped you transform your life and now you're letting it go because you know there's something more expansive, more something that's going to serve you more and you're letting go of this. Okay, so before, so before you decide to let go of something first of all you have to know is this is this your calling okay and you can feel it at the deepest level and in order for you to feel it at the deepest level you have to purify your energy system you have to clear your etheric body so you can go to the next level okay so allow so what happens is when you start purifying your energy body your your guide inner guidance system is much more clear so there's no not too much doubt about it and it is a process and it's a journey how do I let go of this car so you kind of basically see it in a higher view so you're gonna tell yourself that whoever is this car is going to it's gonna serve them and those people the family who's gonna get it it's gonna feel and they're gonna feel amazing it's going to serve them to the deepest level. And when you say that, your heart center opens up. And you don't feel that restriction of letting go of this car. Because that's the expansion creating abundance in your life. When you have this restriction, this constriction in your body, you are not letting that abundance to come in, the further abundance to come in. So we have done this with everything even when we sold this is our third house when we sold the first two houses every time we when we stage the house when we decorate the house I feel it as I'm there okay I'm not seeing it as oh my god I'm losing it I'm seeing it this is gonna serve a new family God bless that family they're gonna feel amazing in this house 
and all you're doing is charging up your own energy you're charging their energy the new family that's coming in so you're sharing that abundance with many more how amazing does that feel so you're not going from fear you're not going from attachment you're not going from lack you're going from abundance and you're selling your car or your house or any items that you doesn't serve you anymore with abundance and you're blessing every single situation there you're blessing the other family you're blessing yourself you're blessing the house you're blessing your car and that's what abundance is abundance is not only wealth abundance is also be able to share that frequency that higher vibration to many more okay so you're sharing it how good does that feel okay so today I'm giving my car to a new family okay I'm already seeing that family enjoying this car and they're really embracing it yes this car has probably a certain value like when I'm selling it um, the dealership or whoever is buying it is gonna give a fixed number but when I look I don't look at the number because the number will make you feel a little stuck too okay you may feel like this car is worth more this it's not worth that but when you're giving it away when you're giving it to this um, to the buyer you're feeling how much valuable it is that you are receiving that value back but not by numbers by feeling the value the feeling the abundance and you can feel it as let's say this car is worth sixty thousand dollars you're getting sixty thousand back instead of thinking sixty back it's way more than sixty what are you doing is you expanding your energy field and I've, this has worked for me over many years and I've done this to everything okay this practice is not just only things that you sell but anything that you have so much care about even like um, if you know you have staff that work for you and they move on you bless them okay you you're not saying that oh my like you know I wish they could have stayed here I would have served me more or you know what thank God they left because that comes from uh, restricted energy so you God bless them Wow they have found what they love so they moved on okay or when when you didn't resonate with them you're like wow they found the best place not saying that oh you know what like thank God they left because that energy is very, very, very restricted. And that is not abundance at all. And people can feel the abundance that you are sharing. They can feel that. When they're around you, they can feel that energy. And that's called heart center practice with activated lower chakras because you feel grounded you trust the process of life yes i'm selling this car i'm trusting something something that serves me will unfold and i just trust i i this trusting is with me for many years okay yes we can um we can go off in that untrusting path but how you gotta recognize that and bring yourself back here and trust the process Okay. So when you let go, God bless. Charge that car with all the blessing. Okay. And thank the car. Thank you. You have given me so much. You've taken care of me. You have served me. You have, you have protected me in every, every part of me. You've protected my family. And that's the blessing the car is receiving. And the car is a physical form and it's going to absorb that vibration. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully, hopefully this video helps and let me know any, um, anything that holds you back from moving forward. Where do you feel discomfort in, in your body? Okay. Have a good one. Bye.